Oh, wow. So we don't start off with the battle this time, huh? All right. I am Ebisu. My role is that of the bestower of blessings. That's why everyone relies on me for certain victory and true grace. Why, though, does everyone think I can do things like that? Me, who was abandoned at birth for not living up to expectations. I'm not suited to the role everyone needs me to fulfill. Still, they keep expecting things of me and adding pressure. So much pressure that I can barely stand under the weight. All I wanted was to live a quiet, peaceful life with my own small joys, without anyone denying on me. Oh man! Preaching in the choir there! When I followed the Rambi. When I followed the rainbow of transient night to Tokyo, I thought everything would change. At the least, I, I thought I would be able to look at things more positively and move forward. I found a home at a nice little restaurant where I learned to cook. I thought I could do better if I gained some confidence, but I was wrong. The more everyone around me began to rely on me, Unless I began to believe in myself, and my failures started piling up. I'm terrible at everything I do. I'm a good for nothing. I hate expectations. I hate when people force them on me. Still, when I watch the waves, it reminds me of my first ever memory. My parents were fine people, but it didn't grow up the way they wanted. So they threw me into the sea. Yo! As I was rocked by the waves, I could do nothing but apologize for not being able to live up to their expectations. It infuriated Aegir that folks him like me had been thrown into the ocean. But where else was I supposed to go? Sorry you had to see the ugly side of that there. Can I sit with you for a bit? <laughs> as long as you don't mind, you're welcome to. start conversations with me. Perhaps so. It seems that whenever I am put to work, there you also are. I have no memory of ever being the one to call out to you. Heh, <laughs> you're right at that. Right at that. Makes you want to talk to me now. Was wishing to speak to you. Was wishing to speak to you a mistake? That's 
not what I meant. I just... Uh, I was just wondering. Why now, when you never talked to me before? I cannot speak for the others, but to me... Being around someone like you, and being seeing someone like you, is difficult. The hell do you mean by that?! You remain convinced that you'll be able to walk side by side with those you look down upon in one day. <clears throat> you never cease trusting, even if that trust is broken. You are nothing like me, or I have given up on those hopes long ago. Meanwhile, you live with your defenses down. Do not doubt others or tell lies, nor does the prospect of pain deter you. Believe that hard work and honesty will pay off. I did not want to look at one such as you. Setting my eyes upon you di directly would be e would be equal to staring into a bright, blinding sun. Should a weakling like me look upon your radiance over long, they would they will turn to ashes. Was that was that supposed to be a compliment, or are you? think I mean to insult you, it can only be because you believe yourself worthy of insult. You yourself are the one who believes your expectations cornered every soup and burnt him to a crisp. None other. What should I have done? Would I have been better not to have expected anything of him? your lips. Very well. Do as you wish. Hey, Finmere! Don't give me that shit! I'm asking you seriously! You wish to expect things of someone, and you should do so. You do not. You do not. That's all there is to it. All you can do is believe in yourself. There is no way to understand the hearts of others. However, Forcing your expectations on him what you wanted to do? That is not what I believe. What is it that you truly wanted? I... I want it! That fisherman. The one who broke the seal for me. I wanted him to be happy. I did it all for him. I worked so hard. But to find that he really didn't trust me it was infuriating. That's right. I scared him. But all I wanted was to make him happy. Always in a hurry. Wow, Benrir with the advice. Hey, why are you saying anything, Brandon? Didn't you come to persuade me? I respect what you want to do. You really are a strange one. No one else I know is quite like you. Actually, Scratch that. There is someone else I know who's just that, who's just as odd. So how come you wanted to start this expedition? Why are, why are you searching for this shipwreck? Isn't it obvious? To get the treasure and turn it into coin. Or something like that. I don't really know. You don't seem to care that much. Do you actually want the treasure? You're sharp, aren't you? Well, you're right. I really don't care about the treasure itself. The truth is, 
I want the treasure for someone else. A special someone? There's an old man who's been taking care of me ever since I was summoned to this Tokyo. Oh, dang. My goal is to get the gold from the treasure ship and use it to make him happy. Everything I know about the sunken ship, Ron, Agir, and their nine daughters, I learned from him. He used to be a treasure hunter back in the day. Apparently, he likes stories like that. He's a free spirit who never tries to push anything onto anybody. So that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. He was positively beaming when he told me the legend of the golden treasure ship. He looks so happy. But his knees and back aren't what they used to be, so he can't go on adventures like in the past. Now he runs a little restaurant. He says he's in, he enjoys it there and that he's happy. But I know that deep down, he still wants to be out there. And I can't forget the smile on his face when he was telling me the stories. So I wanted to find the treasure in his place and tell him all about the adventures I had along the way. He always told me about his wonderful journeys and I want to do the same for him. find a treasure for him. Yeah, but, um, there's something else I've got to sort out first. Hey, can I tell you something? Sure. What is it? I'm not at all confident. I can't use my sacred artifact the way I want. I always fail. Like back in the Kano with that pickpocket. Or like when I was trying to save Ifrit and the others. Once this fishing rod has latched onto something, I should be able to reel it in regardless of weight or size. It's not my sacred artifact's fault that I can't. It's mine. For not being able to use it properly. The reason I can't draw out my sacred artifact's true power is that I haven't accepted the role I was given. I fail because I can't live up to anyone's expectations. So that's what's been on your mind. Hey! Abisu! Abisu! Over here! No! The other here! What? It, 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 it. Ifrit? Have you been here this whole time? When did you get- How much did you hear? Yeah. Uh, let's just say I heard enough. Sorry about listening in, but actually, I'm glad I did. Ifrit, I- Heavy soon. I've got a loud voice and a dirty mouth and a fiery personality to boot. Basically the quality is that half of a certain Discord would love. I mean, yes, you aren't wrong about, um, I mean, you just say exactly what you think, don't you? I'm just going to ignore that and keep going. <laughs> anyway, I realize I spooked you. Still, I wanted to say thanks for helping me out. It really made me happy. It made me really happy. I, I didn't do anything, though. It was Brandon who... I'm not talking about who did what! What matters is that you actually tried to help! And that's worth a lot! I know you tried to save me. Wait. So that's what that was all about? <laughs> Thank you, Ebisu. No doubt about it. I've liked you ever since that moment. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hang on. I think this conversation is getting a little out of hand. I asked 
I asked you if you were going to do it or not, right? You probably thought that was me telling you to just do it. But it wasn't. I was asking you if you were going to do it or if I should. I would have carried the weight for you. Don't think of me as some asshole who gets kicks out of pressuring his friends. Hey, Ebisu, can I ask you something as a friend? You're always saying that you're unsure or that you don't have confidence. Doesn't that mean deep down that you really want to succeed? <sighs> Say what you feel. Brandon. You're right. I want to be able to do things right. It's hard to have everyone's expectations piled up on me, but I hate being a coward even more. I feel like if I were able to do things right, I could come to mind myself. Good to hear! You got one sparkling you got one sparking heart inside you. Sparking hot heart inside you. Doing stuff without failing is what you want. You shouldn't be thinking about others' expectations. What matters the most is how you feel. Make up your mind and meet your own expectations. My own expectations. Hmm. Yeah. Why are you on this boat, Addison? I I wanted to get the treasure for the old man back home and tell him all about the adventure I had. Exactly! You didn't come on this treasure hunt because someone told you to, did you? Well, been to the side, but yeah. I wanted to make him happy. That's right. This is something I wanted. No one asked me to do it. No one expected it of me. In that case, I'll help you out. Don't worry. I won't even ask for a reward. You probably should. Why? Why would you go so far for someone like me? I told you, didn't I? I've grown to like you. What more reason do I need? Such a cool thing to say, Ifrit. What are you talking about? It's only because of you that NBC was able to open up. That's what I love about you, Monsieur. That burning passion inside you. Of course I adore you. I want to see this through. To help Makara and Gain. <laughs> and I've only got and I got only one more thing to say. I don't think for one second that you'll fail. Your desire to help me when I fell into the ocean really saved me. It just took a little time, is all. You made me forget all frustra all the frustration with the past and the prejudices toward others I've carried all all these years. I don't know how many times you failed until up until now. It could be hundreds, thousands, even millions of times. Forget all those failures. They'll just weigh you down. They're not worth anything. Don't worry, I'll be here to help. Are you telling me I should forget about all my failed attempts and just believe that the next will succeed? Okay, I'll give it a try. I'll do my best to see this through to the end. That's what I wanted to hear. I knew you wouldn't give up. Let's save our friends and give that Aegir a good ass kicking. We'll get the tre treasure and bring it back for your old man. Yeah, we can do this. I'll do what I set out to do and save my friends. We won't let them down. We'll do it together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, every suit. Aren't you forgetting something? My cushion! Thanks, Ifrit! 
Alright, let's head back. I'll leave the fishing to you. You bet! Sorry about earlier. I have probably worried everyone with what I said. Still, I won't fret over the past, even though it might still be hard for me to completely believe in myself. But I believe in all of you, so I'll cast out my rod. Please, have my back if I fail. <laughs> you got this, Evie Sue? We'll all do our best, too. We must formulate a battle. We shall bring them down with a single attack while their guard is down. We don't know how well prepared they will be. We must move with the assumption that they will foresee our every action. Inger's right! Once we rescue the Makara and Gangly, Inger's forces will prog start the attack. Hang on. Even the limits of my sacred artifact, I can only reel up one of them at a time. Well, I guess it's more like one thing at a time. They're not together, it's like impossible. Wait, really? I thought you could just grab whatever, like Anger Sacred Artifact can. If that's the case, we might be in a teensy bit of trouble. Yeah, if they notice us rescue the first, they'll try and keep us from rescuing the second. <clears throat> so how about I go down there, sneak in, and lump two of them together for you? Then that way, you can grab all three of us and get out all at once. Likely be the best plan, however. It's too dangerous to go home. I want to be with you, Typhon. You realize it's like way down in the ocean, right? Unless you've grown gills in the last couple of hours, that's not possible. I mean, maybe it would work out if I gave it my all, but. The ocean is dangerous. I don't think you should go. Send Typhon alone into the enemy's mob would spell even more danger. In other words, we must have someone who can guard his back. I think I can handle this. I've got to protect Typhon. You want to protect me? <laughs> We're in the same boat now, you and me. I'll protect you with everything I've got! Adam breaking in there. Wait! No! All we have to, no, all we have to figure out is how to fight Aegir and those daughters of the waves! We should have enough boats for all of us if we count the spares, but... There's no way to guard against an attack from Aegir. A single whirlpool will deliver us to the grass with the abyss. The last ship was down by a single hit from behind, too. Even if we manage to win, we'll, pr we'll still probably be swimming home. Don't ye go, don't ye go insulting me boat, ye salty sea bass. She ain't some toy ship. You think I let an enemy as attack even hit her? I'll show you, I'll show you the finest helms work ye ever see. Right, I'm sure this ship will be sa safe in Ahab's hands. A viral influence can take care of the patties. Actually, we should... We should probably have all hands on deck. I tell you, you want to join in the fight? <laughs> Me? Really? I'd love to. Just, uh, what exactly will I be doing? Hmm. Our, our advanced team should be in position to pop out. Ebisu, you're up. Okay. I've got this. I'm all set. You're finally acting like a true sailor there, matey. Car and Gangly will be two irreplaceable sailors. So don't let this old captain down. Thanks for believing in me. I'll bring those two back. Just you watch.
All right. Since I have, we're gonna have to change up the teams a little. I kind of want to like keep it related to story if I can. But nobody run like nobody runs uh, Ahab anymore. Ahab is old. Ahab is an old unit. Like, let's get rid of. Him. Okay, yeah, I flipped around the teams a bit so I could make up, <laughs> so I could try and make it story accurate as possible. <laughs> Although, maybe I should have changed the costumes. <laughs> Ugh! It's chilly out here, Heavy Soup! Throw me a fish hook of that sacred artifact! <laughs> Throw me the fish hook of that sacred artifact of yours! Oh, okay. Um, here. Just so you know, as long as I let up the line, it'll go as far as it needs to. Thanks! Now then, Masterino! It'd be dangerous if we got separated, so give me your hand! You changed clothes? Surf's so. up. You got that right! Just leave this to Typhon! The greatest surfer in Tokyo! Come on now, take my head. All aboard the deep sea diver, SS Tai Tai. <laughs> Bursting onto the scene in his ultimate United Four. It's Tai Tai. Yeah, whatever. We're directly above the enemy hideout right now, so like, chill and just go. Here we go. Hold on tight, Brandon. I'm heading back. Yeah, I'm heading back to help Captain Ahab now. Show him that seafarer spirit, have you seen? In the meantime, Infrit Fenrir and I will get ready. The concert starts like right as soon as Typhon gets back. <laughs> you got this, Ebisu. Keep that blade up burning. I know you can do it. <laughs> your power. Not use your power, not for the good of everyone else, but for your own sake. For thine own future, and thine own honor. Yeah! What they said! Just do your best, Abby Sue! You may want me long enough to know how to rock this! Don't know if I can rock it per se, but I'll do what I can. <laughs> it's funny, but when you're with me, you like it can tackle any wave head on. I'm diving at top speed, so make sure you don't fall off, okay? Just give me a tap on the back if anything happens.
Okay. Okay, so oolong tea for the pig and green tea for papa. And that crocodile said he wanted a sports drink. Oh, I think I'm eating already. Should I make some dessert then? Nah, you remember that ship a little while back was full of games? What's that have to do with anything? Of course I remember. Papa said they were all treasures. Well, the pig found them and now he and papa are having at it. So they won't be having any food for a while. Seriously? Oh, I want to see that. Anyway. Here's lunch! Seems like a good time to eat! We've all had a go too. Papa's really strong, but that pig seems pretty sharp. So maybe he's got a chance. Nah, probably not. <laughs> so, how do you like my uh, how do you how do you like undersea rip, Legend of the Golden Treasure? Does it not have you on the edge of your seat? Are your palms not sweating? This is impossible! Just look at all the traps around the treasure! Calm, calm down, Gangly. You're carrying too much treasure, that's why. You're one to talk. You hired too many crew members and now you're in the red. Damn it, don't tell me Ager's gonna win again. I usually play this game against my daughter, so it's nice to try my hand against a new opponent. Papa's amazing at this game. We can never beat him. I can tell. You'd make a killing if you created your own How to Play video series. Hey, you're, you're an amazing teacher. Stop! You stop that right now! Yeah, I'm terrible at these sorts of games, and yet I was able to learn all the rules in no time. Unlimited food, a flowing tap, and games the whole day through. You sure know how to throw a party. But of course, all these treasures I have obtained are to be freely given. Which means we can get something even better if we win. <clears throat> Which means we can get something even better if we win this game, I'm guessing. Hey, I rolled, tw I rolled a 20 and I got the treasure. That means I've won, yeah? Uh, wh what? <clears throat> Impossible! That a crock the car. You know there are times I can't stand you, but you certainly pulled through in a pinch. <laughs> well, I'm sure it was just beginner's luck. Papa lost? At this game? Uh, no, once more. We go until I win. No, but I'm sure you'll give us a prize. You'll give us a prize first, won't you, Aegir? Ugh, oh, curses. Though I should expect nothing less of the treasures I picked up. You deserve a prize, my gorgeous gems. Witnessing your glimmer is worth any loss. What do you desire? I will give you anything you wish. Uh, about that. Can you return us to our boat? Huh? Did something go all wrong with our transformation? This should have been your ideal. Nah, trust me. You're my ideal. <laughs> You're nicer than the real thing. Plus, you ain't half as pushy. I can't be satisfied with just an ideal, though. Guess I'm greedy like that. <laughs> I prefer getting hounded by Captain Ahab after skipping work over kicking it with some ideal babe any day. This is a place of infinity! All your wishes can be granted, you know! 
Should you find it lacking something, it would be a simple matter to steal it for you. Even so, my treasures, you... Hey, Aker? Maybe you got the same rule as Varuna, but what I'm looking for is is just the opposite of what you're offering. Uh, the opposite? Speak plainly, my opulent opal. My master is the exact opposite of you. Good to a fault and quite and quite a soft touch, if I'm being honest. Back in my home world, he had immense power and position, but he gave it all away to help others. He even shared his powers of creation with a mere steed like me, and became so weak it was all he could do to keep living. So, still, he seemed so happy. I'd love to be like him someday. Which is why I'm okay with not having eternity. I don't want anything that's just been taken from someone else. I see. What about you, Brandon? Huh? So you noticed I was here. How stupid! Just the waltz right in here! You're completely outnumbered! Don't be silly! My Master Oni's got me right beside it! Crap! The humans just beat! Sorry, but I'll be taking you all down with a single surprise attack! Gigantic Typhoon! You're riding a wave? You plan to take me? Hey, you're out with a wave? Such insolence! I love it! What an absolute treasure! <laughs> Is he seriously beating us up down in our own sea? Oh, sir, my precious pearls. Planning to crash waves into our par to my party? Don't you think that's a little overboard? Not gonna happen! Hmm. I can't fight as well as I would like in the confines of my palace. I shouldn't use my sacred artifacts rule here either. Gangly! Makara! <clears throat> Gangly! Makara! Glad to see you're safe! We're here to save you! Well, just look at you two knights in shining armor. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Let's get back to the ship. <sighs> Makara, have you gained weight? <laughs> it's shameful, I know. It's kind of a long story. Save the chatter for later! Save the chatter for later! We gotta get out of here now! <laughs> That's my treasure for you. Breaking in to recover his friends. We'll be taking him back right now. And you might have. And we might just pilfer some of that sailor's treasure while we're at it. Hey, Gangly, I brought you a little something. Oh, nice. Let's do this, Typhon. Is that a surfboard? Come on then, bro. I'm not gonna force. I'm gonna force our way out of this place. You and me both, bro. Double wave! Double, Double wave, wave like a daisy old typhoon! Oh, the waves are gaining strength. And we don't have anywhere to run! Yeah! <laughs> Double wave! Way to go, you two! Fall in love with me yet, Master Rally? See, this is why I love surfing. Pretty cool attack, huh? I bet that made you fall head over heels for me. That double wave attack is crazy cool, you two. Guess it's my turn now. Hold on tight! Yay! Escape time! Yeah. Hey, Typhon. I'm sure you thought of this, but how exactly are we supposed to escape from this far beneath the ocean? No worries! Ta-da! Right on time! Into my arms, Typhon. Hold me, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh? Guess I won't hold back. Get ready for a big typhoon, huh? Typhon hug! <laughs> Alright, we're all set! 
we're all, we're all set to depart. All that's left is, uh, now that I think about it, this position is a little embarrassing. Kinda wish we didn't have so many eyes on us. This must be paradise. I'll hold, hold on to you until the end of the world. Together forever, Brandon. Okay, now we just pull five times on this conveniently placed fishing line. There it is! Now is the hour. Raise your rod of salvation to the skies. Pull! Got it, here I go. Roll the bestower, roll of fortune. Save my priceless friends! Bountiful returns! Whoa. I, I can see the sky! Does this mean we're back? Looks like it. Hey everybody, we're back! Yangling! Makara! Everyone! Looks like we made it okay. Hells yeah! I'm glad you two are still in one piece. Nice job, Emisu! But thank goodness. I'm so glad my sacred artifact worked. Hmm, look lively, me hearts. Time, time to put these cursed seas behind us. Gangly, Makara, to your stations. To your stations. Let me get, let me get in this boat here moving before before Anger gets a hit in. I can't let you do that, I'm afraid. I have already claimed those two for my own. Did you think I would just let your shining powers and brilliant gifts drift away from me just like that? Who do you think I am? <laughs> How's he already at the surface? It should have taken him more time to get here from the bottom of the ocean. Run away as many times as you like. I will always follow to usher you back into my grasp. Okay, this stalker syndrome has got to go. This stalker syndrome has got to go. First, I'll have to sink that ship, just like I did the other one a short while ago. <laughs> Maybe like one more chance to prove we're the better band. But Papa's very serious about his treasures. This is goodbye. Not a boat you can't perform. Not a boat you can't perform. Bye bye, viral influence. <clears throat> they came up too fast and too close. First attacks are coming. Everyone, hold on to something. Hold the hell up! Uh, what's the matter, young lady? Going to beg for your life? Don't worry, I don't plan on killing you, my elegant aquamarine. Like I never begged for my life! Um, hey, you! What did you just say? M me? Uh, I said... We'd like one more chance to prove we're the better man. Yeah, that. It's time for a rematch! Influencers! Are you serious? Do you ever realize the position you're in right now? How about it, influencers? It must sting to know we're going to die as the better band. I mean, yeah, but we can't go against Papa's orders. Amazing, young lady. I don't quite understand what you're getting at, but you've exceeded my expectations. Indeed, my daughters, it must be bitter to watch your foes end their battle. <laughs> Victors. Very well. Offer them a satisfying defeat, influencers. Papa? Uh, sorry, but that not be happening this time. We be ready for you. Don't lose, Papa! We'll answer your expectations in song! Let's figure out once and for all who the better band, we influencers, or you final influence! Battle of bands? You've got guts! Let's do this! Everybody ready for this? They can bring it! I'll take them down with my flaming drum beats! I won't let us lose either! Time to pump this bass guitar into overdrive! 
Understood. Be entranced by the melody of my keyboard influences. I'm good too, Benton. I shared the battle plan with Gangly Makara too. No! Put your clothes back on! <laughs> Way to go, Aita! You two all ready? Sounds fine to me. I'll just surf my way through this. I'm on board too. I'll get revenge for being taken early. Where's my son? Is that an athlete swimsuit, Makara? <laughs> Actually, I'm in the water polo club at school. I was told to bring a swimsuit, so I just brought the one I always use. Now that I've got this on, I'm ready to go at the, on the attack. Okay, Episu, you're in charge of things up on the boat. Reel us back in when we need it. <laughs> you got it. I'm fighting with you you all this time. You ain't gonna be seeing me in a swimsuit, you hear? You hear? Anyways, leave the ship to me. I won't let her sink as long as the skies are blue and the sea's salty. You're calling the shots. Show us how you rock, Brandon. All right, Roger that. Landing stage, divide and conquer. Cruising formation mark two! I can't believe I'm in this. What? So you got even more members than before? You think that'll be enough to beat us? Don't you want to see what they have in store, my daughters? Show me the true shine of my treasures. Make them sparkle here and now with all their might. We will, Papa. And make sure you watch us when we bubble them. Feast your eyes, Fire Influence. We came prepared. We brought all nine of our members and we even give them waterproof. We even give waterproof our amps. Not bad, but don't be too quick to assume you've won. We said cruise in formation mark two, right? Mark two? What is what is this? They have two, no, three vocalists? And they added tambourine and maracas? <laughs> Check out my background vocals and our sweet harmonies from Brandon. Oh god, I'm singing? Why you got me on vocals? <clears throat> I can do the tambourine at least. I, I do it at karaoke sometimes. The maracas are fun too. Just listen to them shake. And they sound like they're playing at a karaoke bar. But the madness kind of works. Ah, okay, well, yeah. Most of you have only ever performed karaoke, so cut them some slack. The water surface has been consumed in chaos. Just watch what happens to those who lay waste in my ocean. You think it's gonna be that easy? Just watch what happens when you get between a part-timer and his coin. For the sake of sil a silver shine, I will use to adorn my body. Nay, for the sake of justice, I will defeat you. <laughs> I can't hold a straight face on that one. <clears throat> All right, once I get my hands on that treasure, I'm gonna buy some more play. Huh. Yeah, what should I buy with you? Yeah! <laughs> you always know how to surprise me, my treasure. Very well, show me what new tricks you have up your sleeves. Once they are spent, I will, ush I will usher you all into my palace one final time. <laughs> Listen, you can pull all the tricks you want, but it's obvious how this is all gonna end. You'll be, you'll be our special guest performance, Papa. Here's the mic. Just watch me, my daughters. No matter what my sparkling treasures try, I'll drag them all back to the depths with me. <laughs> Let's see if you can walk the walk, influencers. 
We'll bring you down in a sudden death match. <laughs> yeah. Okay. さあ行くぞ次の海域へ向かう